And welcome to another edition of Reckless Eating Shorts, aka We Shorts. I am Matt Zion, going alone here today once again to review another miscellaneous new alcoholic, I guess like four loco ripoff product. But this is Schmirnoff Black Watermelon. So I've only seen this in one place. I hadn't even heard about this until I went into a local random convenience store and they had this and they had what you saw yesterday, which was the juice tea. And, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited about it. I like it when there's some new product that I've never heard of before. Of course, everybody's heard of Smirnoff, but I didn't know they were interested in getting into the uh, hard alcohol, like, juice for loco market. So let's pop this bad boy open. Now, they had several different flavors. It's like lemonade and something else and other. I didn't really care. The only one that really stood out to me is watermelon because I love watermelon. And, uh, by the way, amazing can. I really love the can. I like how you can tell what you're getting by the color on the top of the can. But also just in general, it's very stylish. I like the I like the can overall. All right, so there you go. Your your typical, almost typical color of a juice or full oak, except it's a lot lighter. It's uh, it's much more pinkish. Mmm. It smells way more watermelony than the other ones do. I don't smell like the malt liquor. All I smell is just watermelon. So here we go. Cheers. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm not tasting a whole lot of malt liquor. I'm tasting a lot of carbonation. And it really does taste legitimately like a watermelon. Like if you're biting into a watermelon, it's, you're getting the juices, but in booze form. Now it is 8% alcohol by volume. Juice and Loco are both 12, although Loco's starting to get into the 8% for their smaller cans. And this is kind of like what this is. I really do like it though. It's very tasty. I think I would prefer a Juicer for Loco watermelon. But if I'm looking for something that's a little lighter well, in taste and also just the fact that it's only 8%, I would definitely give this a try. It's very good. I give it a low 4 out of 5 matte faces. Quite like it. Hopefully I can try the other ones if I can find that convenience store again, wherever the hell that was. It was a very random stop. So there you go, guys. Shmirnoff Black Watermelon. Recommended here on Reckless Eating. If you do see it or you've already tried it, let us know what you think about it. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Wee Shorts. As always, we'll see you tomorrow. Reckless Eating! Reckless Eating!